Hi guys, Master Mark Kennard here today. We're going to be working on shuffle forward and then throwing an attack with our hands, which we call cover punching. And cover punching is probably one of the most important uh, aspects when you're defending yourself against punches and kicks to get a jam in there and to, and to stop somebody from kicking or punching you and then counterattacking them with a reverse punch. I use it a lot when I'm sparring and it, and it does, it's very, very effective. If you get your timing down and you're able to do a really good job jamming, you can tie up that person if you're a wrestler, take them down on the ground and uh, pin them on the ground and do some uh, ground and pound on them if you're more of an MMA guy. So I wanna talk to you guys about it now. Our shuffling forward, my knees are bent, my hands are up, I'm gonna push off this leg and pop forward. Now my distance is just a little bit, but what's happening is that guy is engaging at me and I'm developing a timing in order to jam him. So as that guy throws that kick, or maybe he's throwing like a jab, or maybe even over an overhand right or something like that, you're moving in and you're using your defense to set up your offense to attack. So the first one we're gonna do here is called a covered punch with the low block, and then throw here. So I step out just a little bit with this, with this leg. Someone's throwing an outside leg kick, or they're kicking with a roundhouse kick to the body. I block, and then I throw the reverse punch right away. This hand comes up by my face. So I'm here, boom, boom, just like that. And you have to think about what you're doing. You have to think in your head, all right? This guy's moving at me. I step out and I block, I slide across the ground. This hand comes up and I throw the punch. Motion here, boom, just like that. Watch again, motion. I'll do it sideways so you can see. The guy's kicking this side, boom, and I hit them, okay? Hit them in the solar plex or you're doing more kickboxing, you can hit them right, or MMA, punch them right in the face, okay? If you control their head, you control their fight. If they're throwing a kick and you hit them right on the button, that's gonna knock them straight back because their head is gonna go where their, where their, uh, their body's gonna go, I'm sorry, where their head goes. So when their head snaps back, their body's gonna go back too. Next one is a middle, is a middle block like this. So maybe they're throwing a jab to the body or maybe they're throwing a higher kick up to your head, okay? You want to be able to have that good defense. So it's again, that guy's throwing that head kick. They're throwing maybe a wild hook punch. Okay, you step in, bang, and you hit them right in the right in the face or right in the body with that punch. And you're using that shuffle. Again, that motion is here. Bang. Motion, boom, right in there. Keep them hands up. So I'm here. I see that punch come. I see that guy throwing that jab. I hit it away. Bang! Hit him right in the face or maybe he's throwing that high roundhouse kick or maybe even an inner crescent kick, I block and I punch right in there. When I throw that punch, my shoulders cross. Everybody see that? Boom, my shoulders have to cross. I'm pinning on the ball of my foot. That's where all my power is. And I snap back and bring it back. I don't wanna leave my arm out there very long because I don't wanna get counter attack. So again, motion, boom, and back, just like that. And then the last one you do is high block, throwing a jab to your face, Block it away, move in, and hit them. And I did this a lot when I was doing sport karate. It's one of my bread and butter moves to get in on that person and hit them right in the ribs with, uh, with that reverse punch. You don't got any gear on, or all we wore was little cloth gloves back in the back 20, 30 years ago. Man, it hurt like a son of a gun when you got hit in that rib. So I'm right here, block, bang, right into the body. Okay, again, I'm here, boom. Okay, motion. Bang, just like that. Watch from this side. I pop hard, boom. I gotta have good timing. Okay, when I'm sparring, I see that jab come, I hit it away, okay? And I know it, it doesn't make sense to move in, but when I box, I'm gonna tell you something. When you get inside, you don't have to, get, you don't have to worry about getting hit a whole bunch of times going backwards because you're moving in on them and you tie them all the way up and then you hit. Bang, just like that, you're closing your distance. So let's do it again, I'm gonna go this way. Low block, then reverse punch, so I'm here, boom, just like that. Middle block and reverse punch, boom, or cover punch. And then the high block, punch and bang, right in there. And work on those, man, those are your bread and butter. If you're in Taekwondo or karate for counter attacking, someone throwing a uh, leg kick, body kick, head kick, or just throwing that jab, countering them when they're attacking you. And I'll talk to you guys later, bye.